Hey, what up, YouTube? I'm bringing you a commentary on Battle for Bad Company 2. This is Conquest Mode on Oasis, one of my favorite maps. Let's see, my favorite maps would be Oasis, Erica Harbor, Nelson Bay, and Cold War. Primarily because I like the smaller maps more than I like the bigger maps. Because the bigger maps, it's harder to find people and it's harder to kill people. Now let me talk about this, you know, Battlefield and Modern Warfare 3 competition going on. You know, there's the Call of Duty fanboys, there's the Battlefield fanboys. You know, I'm going to buy both because I'm a gamer. You know, I, I've, I'm a gamer. I have all the systems. And, you know, I, I have Nintendo. I like Nintendo. I like Microsoft. I like Sony. I like all of them. Because they're all fun. And that's the reason why I buy a game. To have fun. It's not about... It's not about, you know, oh, this is better because of this and that, you know, the game, games are about having fun, and you know, that's what it's about, that's all it is about, it's just having fun, sitting on your butt, pressing the button, and whenever you press that button, it does it on the TV screen, that's all a video game really is, it's what you watch, but you're controlling it. And really, all you're doing is pressing the button. So, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Let me talk about, you know, Battlefield and Modern Warfare 3. Of course, Battlefield is going to have better graphics. And what I've heard, Battlefield is already beating Modern Warfare 3 in pre-orders. So, it looks like... Fanboys are probably going to get mad, but... It looks like Battlefield 3 is gonna do better than Modern Warfare 3 and that that rarely happens you know Call of Duty gets a lot of sales because it's Call of Duty now don't get me wrong Call of Duty is a great game Call of Duty Black Ops is a great game I love zombies I love the multiplayer I love you know I just love having fun and this multiplayer is really fun too and I'm pretty sure Battlefield 3 is gonna be really fun also but on Battlefield 3, you're going to be able to just, you're, they're going to take out the medic class, I heard. And they're also going to put it where you can only spawn on your squad leader. And for that reason, that's a good reason because, you know, you know how you're in a firefight and you're winning. And then someone like spawns out of nowhere, two other people spawn out of nowhere. You have to take them out too. You have to take them out too like a boss. But you just, you know. You're just like stuck, you're in that situation and you're probably going to die. So now they're putting it where you can only spawn on your squad leader. Which is good. And to tell you the truth, I mean, I'm pretty sure Modern Warfare 3 is going to be fun. I mean, I'm pretty sure Modern Warfare 3 is going to be the same like every other Call of Duty. I mean, running gun, not team based at all. This game is team based. If you like team based games, then go out and get this. I mean, this game is fast paced and running gun too but Call of Duty it's really been the same thing for years I mean Call of Duty 4 obviously was the best one the most balanced one the one that everybody loved and there was no complaints about it and then World of War it was a complete copy of number four but they added zombies and it was just World War 2 but I love zombies that's the reason why I like World of War a little bit more in Call of Duty 4 but Call of Duty 4, I guess you can say multiplayer was superior to Roll Up Wars, but zombies. That's what brought a lot of gamers to get Roll Up War, just because of zombies. Now, and then Modern Warfare 2 comes out, and you know, there, there's a lot of bugs in that game. And you know, there was, this is a bullcrap moment. I blow up, I try to blow up a wall, but it doesn't blow up. But anyways, there's a lot of bugs, and there was it was unbalanced unbalanced kill streets and you know a lot of people were complaining and complaining and complaining and complaining but you know the game was still fun and you know there was quick scope personally i don't like quick scopers because it's unrealistic but you know snipers need to have an advantage over people that are you know people that are using people that are trying hard i guess you can say that snipers need to have that advantage because you know Modern Warfare 2 doesn't really have big maps for you to snipe in, and people who snipe, you'd be able to have an advantage over people. 
So I guess they I guess that's why they had quick scoping. I might not, I'm just I'm just talking from opinion. And then Black Ops came out. You know, a lot of people for some reason hated Black Ops because there was no quick scoping or the graphics were really bad. But you know, game you you don't play games with graphics. I mean, Super Mario Bros. The original has terrible graphics now, but it's still a fun game. Donkey Kong from the arcade, terrible graphics, but that game is amazing. You know, you don't play games with graphics, and you play games that have fun. Now let me talk about Battlefield Bad Company One. I know, I mean, the game was fun. But compared to this one, it was actually pretty bad. Back in the one's multiplayer was actually pretty bad, and the single player was terrible in Back in the one. I mean, you had to, to run from across the map to another point of the map, and you had to run back, you had to run over there, you had to run over there, run over there. I just hated that single player. I mean, I got through it. I just hated the way it was set up. But this single player was a whole lot better. It was a lot more, you know, it wasn't really, you didn't really run from the craft map to the other, other place. So, that is an awesome moment right there. It just blew up that sentry gun or whatever, that blew up that turret gun. Uh, you know, the reason why I'm going through a lot of topics is because I got to talk for 15 minutes. 15 minutes straight. And even the game cuts off because it can only record for 15 minutes. And if you're wondering what I'm recording with, I'm recording with a Hopoc HD PVR, high definition portable video recorder. And I guess I'm gonna get off, you know, the topic on Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3. Buy both. If you're a gamer, buy both. You know, I'm looking forward to Saints Row 3, Saints Row the Third. I'm looking forward to Skyrim. I'm looking forward to have, looking forward to have a lot of these good games that are coming out. And then too, too many, too many people are, you know, not open-minded. Well, you see, too many people are just, you know, not minded. You gotta, you gotta be open-minded. I mean, you gotta have different tastes in video games. You can't just play one video game over and over. Like my brother, he just plays Call of Duty. He doesn't play any other game. I mean, he'll play this game rarely. I mean, we got so many great games that he can play, but he chooses to play Call of Duty over and over. And like I said, don't get me wrong. Call of Duty is a great game. Don't get me wrong. But it's just, it just gets a little old after a while, and... That's why I play a variety of games. I play GTA 4, I play Back on the 2, I play Fallout, I play Test Drive 2, I play a variety of genres, I play a variety of pretty much everything. I still play my Nintendo Wii, and you know, a lot of people hated the Wii too, mainly because it doesn't even do HD, you know, the graphics are bad, the games are too kiddish, but you know, the only good games on the Wii really would be the games that are made by Nintendo. So it'd be, you know, the games that are like Mario, Mario, Zelda, Metroid, you know, all those games are good. All those games are fun. And if you're viewing this video, please subscribe and send me a message saying that you subscribed. And I will subscribe back to you as soon as possible. And... You know, in the comment section, write down how I can improve my commentaries because I'm going to start doing them more often. I have a lot of videos. I have a lot of walkthroughs. Go check out my video game collection if y'all want to see my collection. Uh, I, it starts out from, you know, the NES all the way up to the PS3. I have all those systems. And I do have Sega, but I have it on the emulator. So I guess you can say I have it, but I guess you, say, you can say I don't. You know what I mean? And if y'all wanting how to get emulators, I got videos on that. If y'all wanting how to get free music, free albums, free movies, I got videos on that. And if y'all want to know how to get free albums and free music and movies and TV shows on the PS3, I got a video on that. Go check that out. I got tons of videos. Just go check out my channel. Look through them all. 
And if y'all want to see a walkthrough on a certain video game, and if you, yeah, you know, go check out my video game collection, of course. And if y'all see a game that I'm going to do a walkthrough on, such as like Fallout 3, or Borderlands, or, you know, GTA 4, something like that, you know, I will do a walkthrough on, you know, if y'all comment, I will do a walkthrough on any game y'all want me to do. My current walkthroughs right now are Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, Super Mario RPG. Um, <laughs> Super Mario Advance 3, Yoshi's Island. And if y'all like those type of games, go check it out, because I'm also a retro gamer. I still play those 1990 games. But, from now, let me talk about what I'm doing in the gameplay right now. I'm going to start talking about the gameplay. Right now, I'm just running around, shot a noob, I'm turning my blackness on, and there's another noob, see, I thought he was alive, because he's standing up, but I guess he was dead. That's a one. Oh, I got shot in the head. Look at that Call of Duty camp. Oh, that's another thing. Campus. I hate campers. I hate YouTubers. Other than that, Call of Duty is fine. And again, I die. But I gotta say, you know, Battlefield is for the more mature gamers. You know, more mature gamers out there. And Call of Duty, there's usually little kids on there, sometimes. So don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, Call of Duty's great, and so is this, I'm just saying. And, you know, I don't understand why parents let their, you know, little kids play rated in games anyways. I mean, there's, I mean, I played with this guy on Zombies once, and I asked him, he had a really, really high-pitched voice, and I asked him, how old are you? He's like, I'm eight. I'm like, did you... I was just trying to be mean, I was trying to ask questions, like, does your mom really let you play rated M games like this? And she's like, uh, and he was like, yeah. Oh, my voice is cracked there. He was like, yeah. I mean, yeah. He's like, yeah, my mom does. She doesn't care what I play. And I'm like, dude, my mom didn't let me play rated M games until I was like 14 years old. I'm 16 now. Well, he's like, well, that sucks. I'm like, no, I, I think it's just because my mom cares, you know? I mean, my, I mean, your parents say no for a reason. That's a bull crap headshot with a gold magnum ammunition sniper. That was complete bull crap right there. But anyways, you know, it, whenever your parents say no, like, it's for a reason, you know? Your par my parents, they want to protect me. And, you know, my mom, you know, like you can say it's a little overprotective maybe. You know, my dad's, my dad's like, uh, you know, if I go out to GameStop, my dad's like, what's his game rated? I'm like, M. I'm like, what's it? He's like, what's it for? And I'm like, blah, 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 blah. He's like, alright, go ahead and get it. Just don't show your mom that. <laughs> See, my dad's cool with that kind of stuff. Then my mom, you know, she doesn't really like me viewing stuff like, you know, blood and gore and stuff like that. But that's because, you know, she cares about me. And I'm sure all y'all moms care about you, too. I'm just saying. Anyways, if you're, you know, viewing this video in the comment section, please write how I can make my commentaries better. Y'all want me to talk about a certain topic? Y'all want me to talk about the gameplay? What I'm doing inside the game? Y'all want me to talk about stuff that's happened in my life? You know, write a comment saying what you want me to talk about or anything or how I can improve. Write a comment on how you like the video or how you hate this video. And please rate, comment, and subscribe. And at the end of this video, just cut out, like I said earlier. And it actually, you actually missed, get the, you actually missed two great kills. And again, this is my third commentary. So, on anything, this is absolutely hard work to do. So, you know, please rate, comment, and subscribe.